So prior to Laravel 5.5, uh, if something went wrong or something couldn't be found, we saw a pretty ugly error page. Uh, that's all changed in Laravel 5.5, where if we go ahead and say render out a view that doesn't exist here, we will get a much nicer looking error page. Now in this case, we don't because we are currently in local development. And of course we would expect to see whoops, which we've already covered in this series. Now, the only difference is if we go over to our EMV file, and we switch our environment over to production and we go ahead and turn app debug off of course this doesn't make a difference but this does we will see the following so it looks a lot nicer and this is still customizable and we've covered that on code course before as well but for a just a generic application if something goes wrong this now looks a little bit better and it's the same if something doesn't uh, exist as well so for example if we go ahead and choose a page that doesn't exist we see a much nicer page here as well. Now this also applies to if you're using root model binding and a particular model can't be found either by its primary key or the key that you specify. So for example, if we were to say user equals and go ahead and use user to find a particular record, this isn't gonna work because uh, we are just gonna see a null value here. If we just pull the namespace in for this. If we just die dump on user very quickly, you get a null for this value. But if you use something like find or fail, this is going to go ahead and give you the same error. So sorry, the page you're looking for could not be found. And it's the same if you would say where ID is 10,000 and then first or fail, you're going to see exactly the same thing because this method will throw a not found HTTP exception. Now, like I said, the same thing happens if you were to use root model binding to pull a user in. So let's say you had a user's endpoint and you were pulling in a user model, in this case by its primary key, and you were accepting a user in here, this is also gonna fail if it can't be found. So if we head over to users and again, 10,000, we're gonna get exactly the same problem. If of course we pluck one out that does exist, we don't see that error. So really, really simple here. It's just changed in design. Uh, switching this out for a custom page works in the same way it has done as always. But at least if you don't want to do that, you have a nicer looking page if something goes wrong or something can't be found.